It is so sweet to trust in Jesus and to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise and to know the saith the Watch and pray lest you enter into temptation. The spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. Mark 14, 38. Those professing to have new light, claiming to be reformers, will have great influence over a certain class who are convinced of the heresies that exist in the present age and who are not satisfied with the spiritual condition of the churches. With true, honest hearts, these desire to see a change for the better, a coming up to a higher standard. If the faithful servants of Christ would present the truth, pure and unadulterated, to this class they would accept it and purify themselves by obeying it. But Satan, ever vigilant, sits upon the track of these inquiring souls. Someone making high profession as a reformer comes to them as Satan came to Christ disguised as an angel of light and draws them still further from the path of right. The unhappiness and degradation that follow in the train of licentiousness cannot be estimated. The world is defiled under its inhabitants. They have nearly filled up the measure of their iniquity but that which will bring the heaviest retribution is the practice of iniquity under the clock of godliness. The Redeemer of the world never spurned true repentance, however great the guilt, but he hurls burning denunciations against Pharisees and hypocrites. There is more hope for the open sinner than for this class. This man is a pseudo-reformer, and those deceived by him love not the truth but have pleasure in unrighteousness. And what stronger delusion could come upon them that there is nothing displeasing to God in righteousness and adultery? The Bible contains many warnings against these sins. Paul writes to Titus of those who profess that they know God, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient, and unto every good work reprobate. In this age of corruption, when our adversary the devil as a rolling lion walks about seeking whom he may devour, I see the necessity of lifting my voice in warning. Watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. There are many who profess brilliant talents who wickedly devote them to the service of Satan. Many of them cherish impure thoughts unholy imaginations, unsanctified desires, and base passions. God hates the fruit born upon such a tree. Angels, pure and holy, look upon the cause of such with abhorrence, abhorrence while Satan exalts. Oh, that men and women would consider what it is to be gained by transgressing God's law under any and every circumstance, Transgression is a dishonor to God and a curse to humanity. We must regard it thus, however fair its guise, and by whomsoever committed.